What is up guys? Today we're doing a quick unboxing and uh, review of the Top Don Tornado 4000. Need to inform you guys this product was sent to me absolutely for free but I'm hesitant to say it was sponsored because I am going to tell you exactly what I think of the product regardless of whether they send it to me for free or not. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to use it. I got a couple batteries tried out on. Got a 6 volt battery right here that goes in my 55 GMC truck and then that battery, I'm certain, is just flat dead. <laughs> that battery is that battery is just totally bad. I don't expect it can fix that battery. This battery, I think, is all right. That battery, I expect, is bad. So we're just going to hook this thing up, man. We're going to we're going to try it out on the six volt because this is six and twelve volt. This has a twelve volt normal cold AGM, twelve volt small, which would be like motorcycle uh, normal and uh, cold AGM, six volt normal, twelve volt lithium and then 12 volt battery repair. It gives you a nice little status light up here. You got a warning light over here, a power light here, and your mode button to select, you know, what you want. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. Man, it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video and I actually really enjoy unboxing videos, guys. Ugh, that's a, yeah. I used to have a big old knife that I used for this stuff, man, but there you go. We get the cellophane off and you're left with, well, you're, you're left with a box. Uh, do I want to just rip it or does it like open nice and there we go. It, it opens nice and easily right there. See that? There you go. Maybe this just comes out. Maybe, maybe you jiggle it and eventually the damn thing will fall out of the, sometimes you just gotta use your legs. All right, there we go. Boom. Uh, battery charger. Okay. Yeah. I figured that I figured as much. It's got a big old book. Nope. What do we got inside here? Okay, hey, now we're cooking with grease, guys. This thing's actually not very big. Look at this, it fits right in my hand. Not bad at all, and then you got your, uh, well, you know, all your, those things, and yeah, we don't need that either. This is the meat right here. This will plug into your connectors right here, and this, I guess that's a, a maintainer. You could hook this up directly to a battery if you're gonna use this as a maintainer, and the great thing about it, it's fused. It's really nice. It's fused. Let's hook this thing up. See if it can save a battery. All right. I'm going to leave this here, honestly, probably for a couple of days, and we're going to figure it out. Um, so we have a blue power light, which is cool. I'm going to do it on the 6-volt battery first. This is on 12-volt repair. That's not what I want. In fact, I should probably not hook that up. I should have read the instructions. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Um, ah, Okay. I, I should probably read the directions, but anyway, we're going to stick that on. The uh, The battery terminals, by the way, are also fused, okay? And this is nice. This is really, really nice. So, it's supposed to be on, right? Is it going to do something, or? I don't know. Yeah? I guess it's, there we go. I heard it click. You'll figure it out. You don't need the instructions, man. Just, you know, give it a <laughs> give it a little time. Play with it. And you'll figure it out. That's what I always do. I never I never read the instructions. So, yeah. Make sure she's clamped on really good. These, by the way, these clamps, I'm very, very impressed. Those are very strong clamps. Oh, is that battery? Oh, you know what? I had a battery maintainer hooked up to it. Yeah, this one's already charged. Okay. All right, well... We'll do a repair. How about that? I think you push it twice. It looks like you push it twice until you get it where you want it. Then you hook it up. And... I guess there it goes. Uh, we'll come back and we will check on this battery later. Well, guys, I've been... Uh using this Tornado 4000 for about two weeks now. I've used it on a couple batteries. The interesting thing is this battery right here had been sitting outside for uh, over a year. This battery's been sitting out there. Now, this battery was bad when I got it, which is why it ended up sitting outside. But this battery, you couldn't get it to do anything after using this. This battery now maintains about 550 cold cranking amps. That's a usable battery. It would still be considered bad because it's rated at a uh, 690. So it's really not that bad. This, you can still use it to start a car. So I'm gonna call that a win. I actually have a car I'm gonna put this in. 
I would have had to have bought a battery today if it wasn't for this. So right now, even though this battery is not considered good, it's close enough. It brought a battery back from the dead. This thing's like 40 or 50 bucks, all right? It just saved me at least $50 on a battery. So there you go, battery maintainer, Tornado 4000. Believe me guys, I'm gonna have a link for you and I think I can probably get Top Don to give me a discount code for you too. Remember this is six volt, 12 volt, AGM. This is a maintainer, it's a battery charger. This thing does it all guys. I love it. So thank you to Top Don for the Tornado 4000. I'm gonna be putting this to use more often. I'll have a link for you guys below. Wait, 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 before I get out of here, I gotta show you guys one more thing. Like I'm kind of blown away about this. This is a battery that I pulled out of a 1957 Plymouth uh, Plaza. This battery has been sitting since 2011, okay? The guy put a new battery in it. He couldn't get the car to crank or do anything, so he just left it sitting. This battery was sitting in the car since 7 of 11, all right? This is 2021. It's been a decade. This battery wouldn't do anything. I couldn't get it to take a charge, hold a charge. It did nothing. Completely flat, dead, done. I decided for the hell of it. I didn't believe this thing would be able, nothing's going to be able to fix that battery. No kidding. It took a couple days. And, I, and once it was complete, I ran it again, and I ran it again. But it's finally done. The Tornado 4000 brought the battery back to life. It takes a charge now. It holds a charge. And the battery is good. It may not be 100% what it was brand new, but this is a completely usable battery now. Whereas before, someone would have traded that in and junked it, you would have spent 75 to 100 bucks on another battery just like this. This thing, guys, what is it, like 40 bucks? Yeah, 40 or 50 dollars. It has saved three batteries now, which has saved me a minimum of 150 dollars. This thing's paid for itself three times over. Can't recommend it enough. I'm going to put a link down below for you guys. I'm telling you. Uh, get one of these. It's going to save you a lot of money.